It is RV project day today. And today what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be changing out the converter on my in-laws 2019 mobile suites. Since we switched over to lithium batteries, their old converter doesn't put out enough to charge them. And you have to get up to 14.4 volts to charge your lithium batteries and theirs only goes to 13.8 or something like that. We jumped online, got the new IntelliPower uh, converter that should charge it. It's time to remove the old one, put in the new one, and see if that'll start charging their batteries all the way. The new lithium batteries are great, but they aren't great if you can't charge them. Now, if you're installing a converter, yours might be in a different location. For this mobile suites, it's right down in the storage bay where you have all of your access to your plumbing, your heating, all that sort of stuff. And right here is the old converter. So now I just need to crawl in, unscrew it, take it out. But before I can do any of that, I have to kill all the power. Unplug it, take the battery, positive, negative off, all that stuff, because we don't want any sort of electrical issues. Batteries, all disconnected. I went through and zip tied every line together. That way I can make sure that I don't mess up. So there should be no power going anywhere in this rig. Don't want to get shocked a little bit. Now I'm going to pull the old converter out and hopefully just slap the new one in. It should be that easy, so of course it won't be. We stayed with the IntelliPower because we want to make this as easy as possible. One little screw holding it in here. And then I think I just need to remove my cables here and we should be good. When you're switching out your converter, you can go with a larger one, but you cannot go smaller because your system is already set up for the size you have. If you go larger, you're good, but do not go smaller. That's what the guy at the RV dealership told me, and I'll take his word for it. So now, just need to undo some stuff here. We got right there, okay. So I have my ground right here going to the frame. I need to undo that. And then, just those cables. Do you have a flathead right over there in that toolbox? Is there a flathead? A flathead and screwdriver. Yeah. So that I don't mess up, I went through and tried to write on them. Now this black one, of course, I couldn't write on, but I put an orange mark here. I'm putting no mark on this one, and then a number three and a number four on these, so I can kind of remember where they go. I mean, I'll probably still mess it up, but at least I'm trying not to. There's just a little hex head here. Oh. Gosh. Some pliers behind you. Yep. Where's the pliers? Oh, right there. Maybe I can get some leverage this way. Here we have the old one. It's the 9200 series, and it's an 80 amp. It goes to 13.6 VDC, 1300 watt output. Uh, 130, or sorry, 105 to 130 VAC. Our new one, not much different, but it goes 105 to 130 VAC, 60 Hertz, 1300 Watts. So that's the same watt output. 13.6 to 14.7 VDC 80 amp. So that's the thing is we can get our 14.7 amps out of this. Cool. So this, w oh yeah. That way we can get our 14.7 volts um, to charge the lithium batteries. And Looking at it, it says that it has an output indicator and the blue light is for the lithium. And I guess I need to remove this little tool and I have these little things in here that I press in there and I think it changes the settings. I wish it had a little bit better way to tell, but other than that, very similar. <laughs> I hope it's this easy. Now, if I can avoid dropping this in the grass will be in a win. And I, I think I can just press in there and there's a little button or something that changes the setting. At least that's what I'm hoping. We were laughing that every time I take on one of these tasks for Eldon, it takes me about a month um, when it should take about 25 minutes for a regular person. First thing I'm gonna do with the new one is get my ground wire put in here, just a little flathead screwdriver, pinch it in there. clamp on it. Now I know some of you are probably like, gosh, is it worth it to go lithium and pay the extra for the converter and all that stuff? Yes. Yes, it is. It is so much nicer to have the lithium batteries. They put out just so much better power, last longer, charge faster, 
everything about them's better, except maybe that you have to put in a new converter. Go ahead and put my screw back in. That way it's secured in place. Don't want it bouncing around as you go down the road. No big deal there. Your ground just comes around here. Let's fish it through. What's crazy is this is having a ton of room in an RV to do this stuff, but it's still like everything's in your way. Just the way things go sometimes. Watch the head. Yeah, watch your head. Bonk your head. Watch Hold your on. head. The door's low. <laughs> well, there's where it goes. Go down there. Yeah, so it just ties your frame right here. This is your ground. So that's easy enough. Now this is secure. So this, I put the orange mark on. It should go right in this first spot. If I can... Put stuff back. I'll go get the vacuum when we turn the electricity back on. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Maybe we'll vacuum it out in here. Just well, we got most of it out. Well, it doesn't matter what you do. You get crud down you in do. these compartments. But we just as well, well, it's... Yeah, might as well clean it while we have it open. Have it open. I went to get it and it's in the dark. <laughs> it's almost like you don't have any power. Yeah, like I didn't have no power to turn lights on. Yeah, yeah these was up oh, in Oh, crap. Uh, son of a bee. So I wasn't thinking about it when I put this in and tighten this down. The light for the indicator to show if it's uh, on lithium is over on this side. And there's no way I can see it. So I'm going to have to undo this screw once we get it all hooked up, pull it out, adjust it, and then put it back. Not a big deal, but... Or just put it, move it over and yeah, put the screw back in it. <laughs> One of those things, nothing ever goes perfect. Well. But if that's the most of our problems, we've done pretty good. Sure glad I marked these because I just about put that in the number three spot and that's number four. Now, I don't know if it would have made a difference, but I'd rather not find out. What you doing, Dad? <laughs> he has got... I'm supervising. He has got one, two, three... Four garbage cans. Four pop-up garbage cans <laughs> in here. Well, and there's times I have drugged three or four of them out for time, different price times. And his case of 40-gallon garbage bags to go with them. And here's my 55 gallon. And if you need a larger one, there's your 55s. What's them down there? I can't see what they are. Oh, where? More down there, even. Those are 30. Don't want to run out. Those are 30, 40, and 50 gallon garbage bags in here. Don't want to run out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you will. <laughs> well, I'll probably get some of them in. For, I wonder if I need some of them. Yep. It's been so long since I bought any, I probably ought to buy some of them. Meanwhile, Jesse's still. Feels like I'm building Ikea furniture down here with an Allen wrench. But I think things are getting closer. At least we aren't getting farther away from being done. I was getting ahead of myself, getting this all secured. Now hopefully we'll be able to see that little light back in here. <laughs> Still not a lot of room. But... Go ahead and plug this in. It comes around here. And there's just a plug right here. Okay. Now I just need to hook all the battery back up. Turn power on and then check if we need to switch it over to lithium or if it already does. Supposedly, this will be able to tell once the batteries get fully charged, it will decrease the voltage. So that way you don't have an overcharge situation. So that'll be really nice too. Because lithium batteries are too damn expensive to ruin. And of course, I dropped a washer. Very first thing. 
if you aren't dropping something, you're not working on something. Moment of truth here. Moment I think the battery is all hooked up. This one says it's at an 86% charge and this one's at 97. But as you can see, there's nothing, no input coming into them at all, which makes sense because the power's not on. Is that, is that 90 something? It's 96. Oh, it's 98, not 86. I was looking at it upside down. Yeah. That wouldn't have made sense if one was 86 and one was 97. That didn't make any sense. So if you look at things the right way up, it changes <laughs> them, you know. Uh, I'm going to turn on the battery here. Okay, so we have... Come on, screens. There we go. You can see 26, 24 watts being used on your output. Now I'm going to plug it in and let's see if we're getting anything coming into it. Plug that in, trip the breaker. Nothing exploded, so I think we're. we're no smoke? Oh, we're on the right track. No smoke. Okay, we got a green light there, so we need to get a blue. green that's flooded lead acid so how do we get it to change it looks like green to me still there's a voltmeter okay to see what you got because white is AGM and magenta and blue what is that thing Okay, I need to go look at the directions, I think. Let's see what's going on here. Because we got green there, but this one looks blue, but it might just be the tint. I had been messing with it, and I could only get the green, but then I brought in the big guns. <laughs> Kara's in here, and she has it over on blue. So it should be putting out 14.4 at least. I, I think we got a win here. That was pretty simple. I don't see any reason why anybody would need to take this into a dealership to get done. You can do this yourself. If I can do it, anybody can. Just mark your wires. Good. Yes, just mark your wires, take your time, take pictures, and now you can run lithium. Really easy, change out. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all those sort of things, and enjoy your weekend. side and I'll get my side. I got it. You got it? In the... okay. You know you got a good woman when she jumps in and starts remodeling the cargo area. Okay. Crawl on out, Kara.